welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go over the website influencer.com. I stumbled across this website. I was honestly on the internet looking for free ways to get products that I can try out and I came across Influencer. It was not hard to sign up for. I did find that at the beginning it was a lot of legwork to do all of the sign-ins and to write about yourself and to do all these little things that they wanted to, you to do. But once I did all of those things, it became quite easy to keep up with the questions that they were asking you, the products they wanted you to review, what you've used, what you haven't used, what you want to use, all that sort of thing. I remember when I first got my very first influencer box in the mail and I was shocked that I had got something for free. And not only that, it was from Kat Von D. It was Kat Von D makeup and I was like shook. So I got quite a few products so far from Influencer and I've noticed that the first few I got consecutively like within a few months of each other and now it's quite hard to get into Influencer boxes so I'm not sure if it's worth it anymore for me to continue to go on but every once in a while when I'm bored I do go on and I answer the questions that they have for me and I have recently got one box box out of it. So the very first product that I got was the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner here and it's full size like I thought that I would be getting like tester products that would be like this big this is full size from the store I live in Canada and I think that this is around $24 I got it in the color Lolita and I actually really really like this liquid liner I'm not one for buying expensive brand name stuff so maybe that's why I was so shocked when I got it but this is really amazing. It's not drying at all. I used to use it just for a lip liner with the MAC Color Whirl and that worked out really nice. But I then started using it all over my lips because it's just such a beautiful color as it is. And I found that this stayed on all day. Like I could eat lunch, I could drink, and it was fine. It stayed on. So this was definitely a win for me. And I think, I mean, I've used it quite a bit and there's still like a lot of product left. I really like this and I love that Kat Von D is cruelty free so that was a plus also. My second box box was also from Kat Von D so I'm not sure because I finished the first one if I was entered into the second one. The second one was not full size products but it's understandable because it was her Saint and Sinner perfumes and I got a little tester bottle of each. So this is the Sinner, the black bottle, and then the Saint came in the white bottle, same size. Out of the two, you can tell which one I liked the most because, or the Saint, I don't have the Saint one anymore. I loved the smell of it so much. I will actually probably go out and buy the Saint perfume. It smells so good. It's kind of like a, like a sweet kind of candy smell, I guess. I don't know, like Prada. I really, really liked it. And this one is super good too. If I just got this one, I would be really stoked on it. Just the Saint one is the one that I picked to use first. It's hard to say that some one of the products is my favorite because I absolutely loved everything I got so far. But I did get entered into the, I think that you pronounce it, Shishado brand. Um, so I got a Vox box from them and it had this ultimate cleansing oil for your face and body. Sorry, you can't really see it. But it's quite large. Like this has to be full size. This is 75 milliliters and so I use this to take off my makeup and it kind of has a baby oil to it so it leaves your skin really soft but I also find that this did not make me break out which I the first time used it was like I'm washing my face with baby oil like my makeup's coming off great and I'm sure that this takes off like SPF. If you're wearing sunscreen or whatever on your face, it definitely would break that down and take it off so you would have a cleansed face. But I was like, this is weird because it, I feel like it's blocking my pores. It did not cause me to break out. So I was really excited about this. It came with this Shiseido, I hope I'm saying that right, face and body SPF 40. So this says that you apply 
prior to sun exposure and you put this on your face. So this is 15 milliliters. I've been using this as a primer just underneath my foundation and stuff, especially in the summertime or when I know that I'm gonna be sitting outside. And yeah, it's just an SPF for your face, but it's very like a face moisturizer. It's not gonna leave you greasy, which I really enjoyed also. I'm not sure if this is the full size, but yeah, I really liked this also. My favorite thing in the Shiseido box box was this sports bb foundation this is 30 milliliters so this is the full size product that they sent me i looked it up because i absolutely loved it and it was 48 canadian dollars so i mean to send that to somebody for free is super nice i was not sure that i would like this because i've tried bb creams before and i mean i do like them for you know when i'm not going to be doing very much but for everyday use, I was like, oh, I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. Like, I got dark circles, I have freckles, sometimes I have acne, so I wanted something that would cover it up. And I kid you not, this is amazing. I actually started keeping a tally of how many times I could use it because my mom was actually interested in buying it as well. It is not sheer coverage. I would say that this is medium to full coverage foundation. It dries quite quickly so I do find that if I put it on and I don't you know blend it around my neck it will show like a mask so you have to be really careful with that but yeah I actually have been keeping a tally of how long it lasts just because my mom was like oh it's kind of a smallish bottle for $50 like I just want to make sure and I'm still using this to this day I have it on today but I am past 100 uses on this and that's you know every day like everywhere not just spotting so I'm really excited on that and this is a product I would absolutely buy again the last and most recent box box that I got was herbal essence shampoo and conditioner I am quite picky on my shampoo and conditioners because I had been dyeing my hair blonde forever and at one point my hair started falling off like I had not cut it in forever and I swear to god the ends were just falling off and it took me so long to grow my hair out that I use like high-end stuff I also because I'm blonde and I love the ashy blonde but I pull a lot of red and brassiness I also use purple shampoo all the time so I only wash my hair <laughs> once a week but I've built up the tolerance on my hair it's not greasy or anything this is day six of my hair and like it's pretty good I haven't used dry shampoo or anything yet I do use dry shampoo but so when I got these herbal essence shampoo and conditioners I was like oh like that's cool but I'm not going to really use them so when I first got them they smelled amazing oh, by the way I got the blue ginger and micellar water and they sent me the full-size bottles again and I looked in store and these are like ten dollars Canadian each so that was really nice so shampoo and conditioner smell delicious they actually smell so good so I was really excited on that when I went to wash my hair I decided you know what I'm just gonna give this a try and try it out so I did the shampoo and the conditioner my hair felt great like my hair smelled amazing I'm not even kidding like three days later I could still smell my hair and it was incredible I mean I, I guess it's because I use purple shampoo it doesn't really have a distinct smell to it the one that I use so maybe I'm just noticing like what everybody else <laughs> uses on their hair but yeah, I was really excited on the smell of it. And my hair felt nice after. I don't usually blow dry my hair. I let it air dry. And it felt smooth and it felt the same as it had before. And I was like, wow, this is actually really good. Maybe I would give it a try. And <laughs> a day or two later, I was eating my lunch. And I looked down and I was like, what is on my desk? And I realized that I had really absolutely horrible dandruff. I would go like this, and I'm not kidding, so much. It looked like it was snowing on my desk, and the only thing I had changed was to try this. So this must have dried the absolute crap out of my hair, or my head. And so 
I will not be using this again. I had already made a review on Influencer about, you know, I really liked it and I had to go back and edit it and I changed it to like one or two stars and I was like, this did not work out for me. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for your product. But like, no, it's not going to happen. I might try it again in the summer when it's not so dry because in the winter I get like, you can see my lips, I dry out like so fast. So maybe that could be a contributing factor. I might give it a try again in the summer, but again, wasn't very excited on that. <laughs> so those are the four box boxes that I have got so far. I'm hoping to get more, but who knows? It's a really fun thing to do. I mean, if you have the time to answer all the questions and whatever, it's a great way to get free product. You also need social media because a lot of the things they ask you to do is post about your products. Um, this video is way past when I got my box boxes, so this does not count towards mine. I was not paid for any of my opinions, um, aside from that I did get them for free, which I will agree makes me a little bit biased because I love getting free stuff but as you can tell with this I didn't like it and I told you I didn't like it so anyways that's my video thank you for watching if you like the videos I've put up so far please subscribe and leave a thumbs up down below and maybe even leave a comment thanks see you next time bye